Welcome to Touch Technology Review today. I'm gonna to be unboxing and reviewing the Boya BYWM3U wireless microphone. A great option for YouTubers, vloggers, and even fitness instructors wanting to up their audio game. There are a number of things that sets the Boya WM3U apart from other wireless microphones in its class, and we'll take a look at those shortly. But before we get started, just a quick note to let you know that Boya sent out this microphone to me at no cost in exchange for an unbiased review, and that's exactly what you're gonna be getting. I've reviewed quite a few Boya microphones recently, so if you wanna see these reviews, I'll leave a link to them in the description box below. Without any further delay, let's unbox it and take a look at what's inside. The first thing I have to say, and what I really love about the WM3U wireless microphone is the consideration that's being given to the design and packaging of the product. Starting with the hard case that's included with purchase, not only does it serve to protect the microphone when traveling, but it doubles up as a charger for your microphone transmitter and receiver. And if you own a set of wireless earbuds, you might be familiar with this concept. So even though it isn't a new thing, it's the first time that I've seen this done with wireless microphones. Rather than messing about with cables, you simply drop the transmitter and receiver into the case, close it, and plug the provided USB-C Type 3 cable into a computer or iPhone charger. And then once charged, you get up to 4.5 hours of running time. The case itself holds up to two chargers, so even better for those of you out in the field. Inside the case, you'll notice there are three connections, a USB-C connector for most Android phones or USB-C computers, a TRS connection for DSLR cameras and mirrorless, or any other device that supports a standard 3.5 input and a TRRS connection for iPhones. Keep in mind, if you have a newer iPhone, you'll also need a Lightning to 3.5 audio cable as the recent models of iPhones, they've removed the 3.5 headphone jack that's used for the mic input. But that's not a problem. You can pick up one of these cables for around $15 or so if you haven't got one already. Now let's take a closer look at the microphone transmitter and receivers. I have to say they're one of the most impressive looking of all of the wireless mics that I've seen. They're compact, lightweight and stylish compared to my Rode Wireless Go are so much more discreet. The microphone and transmitter unit has a silver band on the end and that's where the microphone is placed close to the vocal source. There's an on-off button with volume controls on the side. There's a built-in clip for attaching to your clothing. So in terms of overall industrial design and look and feel and the functionality of the Boya BYWM3U, I give it one massive tick of approval. In terms of audio quality, as I've already indicated, the audio on this recording is coming to you from the microphone itself and it'll give you an idea of what it sounds like with just a bit of EQ and noise reduction fairly decent indeed and certainly way better than the internal sound of your camera or iPhone, especially when recording in large open spaces with lots of room noise. However, I can't say it's the best sounding wireless microphone I've used. And there's a number of reasons for that. First of all, it seems to be more of a consumer oriented product with a price point to match. And as you've seen, given the tiny form factor, there's probably some limitation in terms of pure audio fidelity that it can deliver. In terms of the signal to noise ratio, you'll notice a little bit more line noise on this microphone compared to using a wired lav mic, or even if I compare it to the Rode Wireless Go, or something like the Movo WMX1, which I've covered on this channel, which has an exceptionally low signal to noise ratio. I'll just remove the noise reduction and EQ right now so you can hear it as it is out of the microphone for this next section of the video. Now it's probably not a fair comparison as this is a third of the size compared to the other microphones, but it really is going to come down to how precise you are about your sound, how you're going to edit and where you're going to distribute your videos. And as you can hear, once I reapply the noise reduction and EQ and compression, you can really elevate the audio quality to a high standard that really does get so much closer to some of the more expensive, larger wireless microphones. And finally, the outdoor test. This is what it sounds like when you're using the microphone outdoors. This is quite a challenging day today with lots of wind, lots of ambient noise outdoors. And as you can see, I'm situated about three or four meters away from the iPhone and you'd have no hope of hearing this clearly if you didn't have 
this type of microphone attached. So this is where this type of wireless microphone really does come into its own when you are situated further away from the recording device and I think it sounds great in the outdoors. If you're producing videos for social media, live streams, fitness instruction and vlogs, this could be a great choice. However, if you're after a broadcast quality level of sound, you may be better off with one of the larger wireless lav mics in the Boyer range, which are also worth checking out. Links in the description box below. Let me know what you think of the audio and if you wanna get one, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel so that you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. And if you have any questions about what I've covered today, feel free to put them in the comments box below as well. See you on the next one. Bye for now.